You there. I need a room for the night. And make it quick. I've had a dreadful day, and I'd rather not spend another minute dealing with whatever this place is. Well, good evening, ma'am. Welcome to our hotel. May I have your name, please, to check for your reservation? <laughs> reservation? Look at this place. You think I'd bother with making a reservation? No, I didn't make one. Surely you have something available. It's not like you're running a five-star establishment here. I understand, ma'am, but I'm sorry to inform you that we are actually fully booked tonight. There's a big event in town and it's brought in a lot of visitors. Fully booked? <laughs> you're joking, right? This place looks like it should be grateful for any guests it gets. I mean, come on. I'm doing you a favor by staying here. I'm lowering my standards just by walking through that front door. I truly appreciate your interest in staying with us and I apologize for any inconvenience. However, I assure you, we are at full capacity and every room is occupied or reserved. This is absolutely unacceptable. I demand to speak to the manager. You clearly don't know who I am. I could have this place shut down with just one phone call. Ma'am, I am the owner. And I assure you, I am doing my best to assist you. But as I've said, there's nothing I can do about the situation tonight. So if you'd like, I can try and recommend another hotel that's nearby. The owner? You? Well, that explains a lot. Look, I'm not interested in your recommendations. What I'm interested in is a room tonight, and I'm not taking no for an answer. This is discrimination, isn't it? Yeah, I, I know. You're doing this because I'm white. Ma'am, race has absolutely nothing to do with our current availability. We pride ourselves on being an inclusive establishment. Unfortunately, the reality is that we simply do not have any rooms available tonight, regardless of who is seeking it. Please, save me the speech. I've traveled more in a year than you've probably traveled in your entire life. I know discrimination when I see it, okay? You're just making excuses. I bet if I took a walk down that hallway right now, I'd find at least one empty room. I can assure you that will not be the case. Our hotel policy and ethics wouldn't allow us to lie about something like this. Now, I must insist that you do not attempt to enter any of our rooms. They are all occupied with guests, and it would be a violation of their privacy, ma'am. We'll just see about that, won't we? Because I'm not leaving until I get a room. And if you're not gonna give me one, then I'll find one myself. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave now if you continue to insist on this course of action. I have no choice but to call the authorities. <laughs> call whoever you want. But I'm telling you, I'm not leaving without a room. And if you try to stop me, It'll be the biggest mistake of your life. Ma'am! Ma'am! No, no, no! Please! Ma'am, ma'am, no, 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 no! No, ma'am! We have guests in those rooms! Please. This is ridiculous. Locked, locked, and more locked. What is this? A prison? You really expect me to believe all these rooms are taken? Yes, ma'am, I do, because they are. Every single room is booked and occupied by guests who have reserved their stay in advance. This is very unusual behavior, and I must insist you stop immediately. Unusual? What's unusual is your blatant discrimination. I've never been treated like this in my entire life. You're singling me out. And I want to know why. Is it because I demand better service? Or is it something else? It has nothing to do with discrimination, ma'am. We value all of our guests equally and provide the best service we can to everyone. The simple fact is we have no vacancies. Your actions now are they're inappropriate, but they're also illegal. You're disturbing the peace of our guest. Disturbing the peace? Oh, please. The only disturbance here is your refusal to provide me with a room. I know my rights. 
And I know when I'm being punked. This is not over. What's going on out here? I apologize. Is for the everything disturbance. all right out here? What's 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 going on? I heard all this commotion from my room. I truly apologize for the disturbance, sir. I we're handling a small issue here. Please, you can return to your room and enjoy your night. And um, I'll get this sorted out promptly. Later. Small issue? I'm being denied a room for no reason, and he gets one? How's that fair? Look at this obvious favoritism. Is it because he's a man? Or maybe because you know him? This <laughs> is discrimination at its finest. Sir? This lady here is upset because we're fully booked tonight and she doesn't have a reservation. <sighs> this man booked his room months in advance, which is why he is able to secure his stay, ma'am. Ma'am, if the hotel is full, there's not much anyone can do tonight. It sounds like there's a misunderstanding, but causing a scene won't help sort anything out. A misunderstanding? No. What's misunderstood here? is my patience for this nonsense. I've been polite, I've been understanding. And what do I get for all this? Accusations and excuses. I demand justice. I demand a room. Justice? Ma'am, this isn't an issue of justice. This is an issue of capacity. Now, I've offered to help you find another hotel, but you refused. There's nothing more I can do to accommodate you here tonight. Oh, I'm sure there's more you can do. You just choose not to, because it's just easier to push me to the side. Well, I won't be silenced. I won't be discriminated against. I'll make sure everyone knows about the kind of service you provide here. Look, ma'am, I'm trying to be patient here, but you're causing a disturbance, okay? It's late and people are trying to rest. If you don't have a reservation and the hotel is full, it might be best to try somewhere else. Try somewhere else? After the way I've been treated? No, no. I think the only fair thing could be that he gives up his room for me. After all, it's the least you can do after such appalling service. That is not how it works here. Everyone here has booked and paid for their stay. I can't just ask someone to give up their room. It's completely out of the question. Out of the question? Everything seems to be out of the question for you. What kind of business are you running here? This is by far the worst hotel experience I've ever had. And I assure you, I've stayed plenty. You know what? I see what this is now. It's because I'm not like you, isn't it? That's exactly why you're treating me this way. You think you can just push me around? Deny me service? Because of what? Huh? My skin color? Ma'am, I've tried to be patient and I've tried to be understanding, but this, this is unacceptable. Uh, your behavior, your accusations, they are completely baseless. This has nothing to do with race or discrimination. Oh, just save it, okay? I've heard enough of your excuses. You're all the same playing the victim while you're the one discriminating. Mm -hmm. I bet you didn't even check for room availability. You just saw me coming and you just decided that I wasn't welcome. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I've been standing here listening to this. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You're so out of line, ma'am. This woman has been nothing but professional and you've been nothing but disrespectful. Disrespectful? I'm the victim here, okay? I'm being denied a basic service for no other reason than his bias. And you? <laughs> You're just standing there defending her? What does that say about you? It says I'm defending someone who's doing their job. The only one making baseless accusations and causing a scene is you. I'm an off-duty cop, ma'am, and I can see when someone's causing a public disturbance. <laughs> a cop? So what? That doesn't scare me, okay? I know my rights. I'll file a complaint against you too. I'll have your badge for this. <laughs> You're both conspiring against me. Ma'am, 
you're causing a disturbance, and now you're hurling racist insults, that's enough to get you arrested right here and now. Arrested? For what? For standing up for myself? For demanding fair treatment? Go ahead then, see if I care. I'll have this place and you in so much legal trouble, your heads will spin. No, ma'am. For public disturbance and hate speech. I didn't want to have to do this, but you're leaving me no choice. This is injustice. You can't do this to me. I've done nothing wrong. You've done plenty wrong tonight, and you're going to have to answer for it. What are you doing? Stop. You'll regret this, both of you. I'll have my day in court, and everyone will know the truth. Thank you, sir, for handling this. I'm so sorry you had to step in, but I appreciate your presence so much. Ma'am, it's part of the job. Even when I'm off duty, I hate to see it happen, especially over something that could have been resolved so easily with a bit of understanding. Yeah, you got that right. It's a shame. Thank you again. Don't worry about it. You did everything you could. Some situations just escalate beyond reason. Take care and keep up the good work. Will do, sir. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let go of me. This is so unfair. Look, I, I know I was out of line earlier. I just don't know what got into me. It was just a lot of things piling up, you know? I'm not really like that. Ma'am, your actions tonight spoke volumes. It's not just what you did, but how you treated people. That kind of behavior, it's hard to overlook. I understand that now, and I'm truly, truly sorry. I guess I just didn't expect to be turned away, and I took it out on everyone else. Can you forgive me? Forgiveness isn't mine to give in this situation. You've insulted and accused innocent people, causing unnecessary distress. That kind of behavior doesn't get a pass because you regret it when faced with consequences. But I'm facing them, aren't I? I'm here in handcuffs. Doesn't that count for something? Can't we just put this behind us, please? Accepting consequences is one thing, but understanding the impact of your actions is another. What you did tonight wasn't just a simple mistake. You showed a side of yourself that's hard to forget or forgive. I just want a chance to make things right. I'll do whatever it takes. Community service, a public apology. It's not what you're willing to do now. It's about the harm you've already caused. You targeted someone because of their race, disrupted the peace, and showed no respect for the law or the people around you. That's it then? There's just nothing that I can say or do? Look, right now, the best thing you can do is learn from this and genuinely change. But as for tonight, your actions, you wanted a room, right? Well, you're getting one. It's going to be in a jail cell. 